waste your incarnation concerned applying effort and thought towards others in the way of attempting to create an effect in someone else is the worst sin against yourself. Let alone that person. It is yourself, you, who lose in that involvement of your effort. Because you are here to live for you, to dwell in jealousy is the worst mistake of life. To dwell in a place of discontent because of someone else outside of you is such a crime against your higher self. Your higher self must remain dormant, sleep within you, watching your lower child react and act on nonsense of creating an effect for someone else. Who are you? Who do you think you are? Obviously, you think you are powerful in that you can create some effect through manipulation, through use of your words, illusions, or manipulation of energies. You do yourself such a sad disservice because you're wasting time. You're wasting breath. And when you don't have breath anymore is when you realize what a mistake you made. You realize what you did with your time. Where everyone is in their life is a direct result of their own experiences. They are none of your business. someone else's experiences has to do with them and their creator who supplied them with their lessons that has nothing to do with you so your petty ego looks and sees someone and says oh they think they cute <laughs> Let me do them dirty like this because they think they cute. You had nothing to do with that. Maybe they did something in the past to be cute this time around. <laughs> Maybe they did something in their past experience that allotted them a certain karma that gave them a talent that you didn't quite get. So, what are you thinking about someone else for? Don't you value yourself? If you don't, that is a result of your experiences and the way you have received your experiences. 
that you don't value yourself enough to concentrate on you solely is a result of what life has made you. Did you fall for the illusion? You do this and it's your peril because life is set up. This planet, this place is set up in such a way where what you throw out comes back to you. You don't have time, space. You don't have time and space in your life to be thinking about others and who they are and what they are in terms of affecting them through your manipulations. This is such a childish mistake. Even if you believe you're powerful, even if you do certain things and you see the effects in others, well, all you're doing to them is giving them experiences to compute inside their mind. But what you're doing to you You won't know until it comes back to you. What you're doing to you is the travesty because you're wasting your incarnation away. The message is grow above your ego and walk in your higher self. That's the point of life. Everything that we become in life is a direct result of our experiences. We are shaped by the past for good, bad, ugly we are shaped by the things we go through and the conclusions we draw from them success or failure lies in understanding what happened, the conclusions we draw from our experiences. Did your experience make you sad? Or did your experience make you happy? What did your experience do to you? This is a result of your understanding, overstanding whatever, understanding the conclusions that you draw from your experiences is what says success or failure. Life is here to grow 
gods. Whether or not we get it this time or many times from now, the reason we are here, the reason we have experiences, good, bad, ugly, is for the, conc the conclusions we draw for them. The conclusions we draw from our experiences is the reason why we play the game. child dies early and the people are sad because it's truly a tragedy when life goes there's so much that happened before that experience there's so much that happened resulting in the culmination of that experience for the individual and for the individuals who watched or who are around that individual trying to make sense of what happened etc you must know that the things that happen to us are a result of previous experiences. Karma is always active. The reason why karma is active is because what we're supposed to learn has to do with our conduct. God creates a world where what you put out is what you get back. Whether this lifetime or the next or two, three from now, you are responsible for what you put out because it's only right it is right that you receive the energy that you gave be that good bad or ugly it's only right that you experience from life what you gave to life what you put into life and so people come back with sets of karma as their classroom good bad ugly you can come back with an incarnation a silver spoon That's a result of something that you did in the past that was giving of yourself. And the challenge is still about what will you become based on that experience of the silver spoon. Will you will you take that 
experience will that experience make you the type of person who dwells in the ego and becomes a monster based upon what you were given as a child or will the opposite happen will you experience that experience from a higher level of your consciousness And that's the whole question there. This is the reason why we come. To understand where on the tree of consciousness you are. Are you down low in the ego? Or are you up above in the higher aspects of you? We ensure that we do it right if we rise above the ego, the part of us that is of the earth, the part of us that has this experience or, and, and feels it. Um, the part of us that takes this illusion as real. Or do we have this experience from our God self? Do we have this experience from over top of it, watching it, understanding exactly why? That is the question of life. Where do you sit on the tree? in terms of your understanding, in terms of your understanding of your experiences. If you dwell in the lower aspect of your being, then life for you is a complete illusion. You fall for everything. You believe that is real. You believe that that money you got or that tragedy that you had, you believe that it's all real. You forget that you are a being that is composed of many parts and that life is supposed to rise you to grow you. Everything you deal with is supposed to grow you. So, where will you dwell? Where will your consciousness dwell as you walk this life? you live this life from the limited aspect of you that deals in instincts that perceives everything as real Or will you rise above what you're experiencing? Look at it from the top 
and understand why. If you choose the latter, then we grow into a higher self. To maintain happiness in the midst of oppression is a trick of the higher self. You show life who you are by the way you live it. Good, bad, ugly. By the way you live these experiences is how you show your age, your growth, your level. Life can level you up or down based upon what portion you dwell. What portion of that tree is your consciousness dwelling? Answer that, and you are another step towards growth. <laughs>